always get a kick out of or just feel bad for is when you go to hotels and they have a little office center with computers and they so obviously are not secure. And it's just anytime you have a computer that is supposed to be publicly used by multiple people, there should be no writable media in there, there should be no hard drive in there. And it's just sad that uh, <laughs> they don't know how to properly secure their systems and people actually use those for business uses. So that little clip was recorded in a hotel a couple of weeks ago uh, where it's just something every time I go to a hotel, um, they have the little office stations where if you need to do office work, they have a little, usually one or two computers with a printer. Um, and of course, doing anything personal on one of those computers is just crazy. And they have this thing that supposedly clears out your information. Uh, 100% wouldn't trust it. I did have to use them once for real. I mean, usually I go over and play on them. But uh, there was one time where I needed to print something while at a hotel. And so, of course, I turned off the machine, rebooted into a live distro uh, that I had on my keychain. And uh, I just had to do a uh, print test on the printer to get the IP address because it wasn't on the same range as uh, the desktop. But once I did a scan, it found it automatically hooked to the printer and I was able to print. That's the only time I really used one of those. And of course, th those things shouldn't have hard drives in them. And that's kind of my point. Anytime you have some sort of kiosk or something that people are gonna be used, public people you don't know who are gonna use, there should be no writable storage in that machine. It should either be doing a network boot where it's pulling down an image and booting, or it's booting from a non-writable media. Um, for example, a CD probably wouldn't be the best option, but that would be an option. Or maybe you just have an SD card inside the device that's set to read only, that boots all to RAM. That way, people can't get into the machine without physically taking it apart and making modifications, because it, it would be so easy for me to boot a Linux Live CD on one of these hotel office machines and make some modifications to the window thing to where I'm now capturing stuff. And if someone, it's just, it's just so insecure, and there's so many things like that. This is very, very simple. If someone is accessing an interface, uh, uh, some sort of hardware, and you don't know those, it's just publicly available, there should be no writable media in that device, my personal opinion. It's not that hard to do. Again, you can put a uh, SD card that's set to read only, a physical switch to read only, or network boot. Uh, if you have a small image, which if it's a kiosk or some sort of workstation like that, the, the image should be very, very small, under 100 megabytes for sure. And, um, and that way, as long as you reboot it, you know that it's fresh. Because uh, these Windows machines that claim they're clearing out your information, uh, I've worked with systems like that before, things like cold boot and whatnot, they don't really work. They don't really do anything to protect your information. Anyone can boot a bootable operating system, make modifications to that hard drive, and that software would not know. So, that's just my thoughts. Let me know what you think down in uh, the description of this video. Uh, have you? Do you think about this? Does it aggravate you when you go to places where they have publicly uh, accessible computers and they so clearly have a hard drive in them? Some sort of writable media when they shouldn't? So, yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comments.